Howdy folks, TJ here. Hopefully you've been enjoying my Echo Flow videos from the unboxing of the River Pro, unboxing of the extra battery, unboxing of the Rock Pals solar panels, so I should say solar videos, and uh, then my first test of the battery setup alone without any solar panels going to it to see how long it could run my refrigerator. Did pretty well, so so far so good on what I wanted to do, what I thought it would do, and what it ended up doing. So not too shabby. Today, Sunday, we're going to go out and take all of this stuff, connect it up outside, get some solar panels connected up to this, and see if I can keep this battery pretty charged up during the day, running that refrigerator, and then that way by the sundown, when there's no more sun powering this, I can resort to a quick Baja propane uh, generator to charge this up fully to the 100% and then let it coast overnight off the of battery alone. And then the next morning, hopefully it lasted most of the night, which it should. We know that this setup runs about 10 hours. And then do a Baja again for a quick, as long as it takes. I guess if it drained the battery completely, it's going to take about two hours to completely uh, put this back up to 100%. And then do the same thing, keep this charged up as much as possible, running that refrigerator off of solar pretty much. So let's go outside, let's get everything connected up, and then I'm going to do a series of videos as I position the solar panels and try to keep the power, see how this is working with my two 100 watt panels, and see if this all pans out. So come back here in a little bit, and we'll inch our way all day long through charging up this setup and then we'll kind of cut it when it's unsunny and come back in and wrap things up. So stay tuned and check out the rest of the video. Okay, testing day. You'll see here that I've got uh, my <clears throat> Echo Flow Pro, just the unit alone, and I've got a little XT60 to Anderson plug adapter and I follow this little cable well there it is over to just right now a single 100 watt rock pals out in my driveway I've got a couple towels underneath it just to keep it off the hot asphalt a little bit and just in my preliminary quickly connecting up you'll see that out of this 100 watt panel I'm getting about 71 my battery was not fully charged it was about 99 percent when I unplugged it this morning and uh, right now it says it's got uh, 21 minutes to fully charge up. So actually, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go ahead and connect solar panel number two in parallel and see if that boosts up. I think I'll need to go ahead and turn on. Right now it's on quiet charging. I think I'll need to turn it on the uh, other one to get above the 120 volt, but we'll see. For right now, just wanted to get the ball rolling on testing my solar panels with a Echo Flow. And then I need to also connect my external battery to this too. So anyway, that's it for right now. Okay, right now I've got still just the Echo Flow Pro, River Pro, charging up at 108 watts. And I do not have it on quick charge right now. I have my... Anderson XT or 60 to Anderson adapter following the, the parallel cable that came with my Rock Pals. And I've got them going off to two sets of solar panels. I've got towels underneath everything again. Like I said, I just want to kind of, it's hot concrete, going to be a fairly good sunny day, so I don't want anything roasting up for now. I need to get a longer Anderson cable. So I can put these in my lawn, which I intended to do. But the little 10-foot cables that come with these rock pals, just not enough to reach it. So I think I'm going to need about a maybe a 15-foot cable. But one that uh, should still allow pretty good charging and not too long to where I lose some good charging. Anyway, so uh, now I need to go ahead and change to quick charge and see if that... Oh, it's dropped down. Looks like it's up in the 80s right now. 80-something watts. So need to put it on quick charge. And let's see if that one change makes a difference. All right. Testing time. 
So, what do I have going on here? So right now, I've got my River Pro connected to the external battery. The charge was at about 99%. I charged it in the house. I've now got connected to it a XT60 to Anderson adapter. That going to the Y adapter or parallel adapter that came with my Rock Pals. And let me get up off the ground here. And I've got two cables going over to my Rock Pals solar panels. Each of them are 100 watts. I've got towels laid underneath them just to kind of keep them off the hot asphalt. I need to get a longer Anderson um, extender, maybe a 15, 20 footer. One that's not super long to where I'm going to deplete some of the energy going to my uh, River Pro. But long enough to allow me to run these on my grass where it's a bit cooler. And I can put this in the backyard instead of out in the front. So anyway, um, I've been playing around with things this morning. And uh, when I first connected it up, I was getting about 140 watts out of the two. About 70, 71 single. Then to about 140. But I think since the battery is mostly all charged up. And my refrigerator, which I have connected via a long 100-foot cable, going into the house, which you cannot see, I've got my refrigerator co connected to it. Right now, the refrigerator is only pulling 16 watts, but that will hop up here all day long. Normally, it runs at about 130 is what I see. So I don't know if, since this battery is charged up to almost 100%, that that's why the wattage right now for my solar panels is down to only 35 that's my guess is that uh, kind of towards the tail end of getting your batteries charged, even from AC, when I'm on um, non-quiet mode, it started bouncing down from 600 down to 4, 3, 2, eventually down to pretty much nothing. So I guess that's why it's reading so little. Uh, so during the course of the day, I'm guessing I will not see that boost up to 140 again unless it's uh, needing it and the refrigerator starts drawing a lot of power then that will kick in and start bringing in more watts into the unit. That's my guess. I'm not a pro at this. But anyway, so I'm going to run this for the course of the day, probably at least until about 5 o'clock tonight when I'll get tired of doing this stuff to take the rest of my Sunday to kind of enjoy. But anyway, so I've got this going right now. Uh, we'll see if my theory of being able to keep this battery setup charged to up in the upper 90s um, during the course of the day and then when the solar is unplugged, that uh, I already know this thing will run my refrigerator for about 10 hours, which would be a pretty good overnight stint. And then the next day I can come in and do a supercharge to it. Now, I think I am going to go ahead and turn quiet charge on just to kind of see, because right now, technically, it's uh, I could just do quiet charge and not have to deal with the fast charge. But I think once that refrigerator kicks in, it's going to boost up. So maybe for a little bit, I'll leave it as is, see if uh, those watts kind of change like I'm thinking they will. And then we'll come back and continue looking at all these numbers, see how things go. So anyway, so far so good. I am bringing in solar power. I do know that uh, I was getting 140 between the 200-watt panels, which I guess is not too bad, about 70 per each. So anyway, that's it. Okay, looks like I was right. Looks like my refrigerator kicked in, drawing about 130 watts. And then you'll see here on the input... Uh, actually, inputs 120, and the refrigerator's grabbing about 140. So, uh, yeah, interesting. So, I have quiet mode on right now. I'm guessing if I changed quiet mode, that would change a little bit. But it it does show input 140 something. So maybe I don't have to bother with it. Uh, both of these panels are bringing in good power right now. 143 for the two of them, and my refrigerator's grabbing about that same amount. So very cool. Uh, hopefully it can keep this at about 99% or up in the upper 90s during the course of the day. So, so far, so good. Okay, it's been about, uh, I think I started at 11. It's now after 2, so it's been going a bit over 3 hours. So far, so good. I have dropped, what did I start at 99%, so I have dropped about 6. I figured there's another good um, 3 hours of sunlight. I have been positioning my solar panels uh, towards the sun over here. Sun's uh, up that dirt, Justin. <laughs> uh, oh, this turned up. That's pretty quick. So, uh, 
Yeah, it is generally working. I seem to be pegged in at about 107, 108 watts of input. Uh, it kind of jumps around a little bit. I think I have tried, like I said, with the quiet mode on or off, and it doesn't seem to really make much of a, a difference. I see that I am slowly dropping down regardless, but I'm guessing I'm going to hit probably down the 90% by the time sun's kind of gone, but not too shabby, I guess. I'm running just enough to kind of keep that fridge running mostly, but soaking into the battery a little bit, and then I'm going to have to do kind of a quick charge of my uh, battery to 100% if I want to kind of go all overnight, which I don't think I'm going to do for this test. This test was mostly connect up solar panels, see if I can kind of keep my refrigerator going most of the day, and see how much battery life I can have left. So anyway, that's it. I'll come back uh, later for more, but I just wanted to give you kind of a mid-cycle count. All right, it's getting close to 5 o'clock, I think. Uh, been on all day a -thon. Now I'm pointing pretty much kind of west right now towards where the sun is giving us the last. I, I think we've got uh, typically a good hour more. It's pretty high up there still. Uh, maybe two hours more, something like that. So we've got some power to still harness. Right now I've got the uh, solar panels all connected and I'm trying to keep my little guys here in the shade as best as I can. So I've been shifting everything over. Let's just kind of take a peek at uh, what we've got going on here. Gee, I put my finger right in front of the camera. Nice. All right, so it looks like uh, it's, it fluctuates, but it's uh, in between 80 and 90, sometimes 100. I, I've baked down the 92%, so not that 99% I started with, but uh, still in that 90 range, so I might be able to keep in that 90 to 100 that I originally said. Uh, looks like my wife is in the refrigerator right now. Uh, she just got home, so you can see that wattage pick up on that refrigerator opening up. So that's why these numbers are kind of changing around. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, things are continuing on. I'm going to let this run for another probably uh, hour and a half at least, maybe two. By then the sun should be all gone, and we'll kind of wrap things up. So, cool. Ah, the wee old sun is behind a cloud. And I uh, thought I'd run out here. It looked like it was a little darker just to kind of see... Yeah, um, only 23 watts right now. It's about, uh, it's after 5, 5.30 I think, something like that, 5 something. So, uh, yeah, sun's starting to get a little bit distant in a way. I can feel the sun coming back behind my back, so it is creeping up here, 40, and it's creeping upwards, but... Oh! Anyway, uh, oh, sun's kind of glaring now, so it's boosting back up, but it was kind of fun to see what, uh, yeah, I was barely trickling in when the uh, cloud covered it. But hey, it was getting something, so that's cool. Well, a bit of a drop, so it's about 5.30. Figure I got about another good hour of sun. So inputs popped up, but uh, that's probably because the watts on the refrigerators went down right now. And I am down to 85%, so I was at about 90 before. So that cut down quite a bit. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to hit that 90 to 100 left so uh baja would have to uh, do a quick charge so probably if this is the normal mo i'd probably kill it off at about five and then maybe do a uh, two hour uh charge up from my baja uh charging both batteries up to a hundred percent uh actually it shouldn't take two hours if i'm at 85 percent i'm thinking a fast charge should do it relatively quick uh, boost it up uh, so that way around 7 to 8 o'clock I should be at 100% and then we can let it coast until the next morning for as long as it can. So anyway, so that's the scoop. It looks like I have dropped down to 85%. So uh, need either a little bit better solar panels, adding more watts to this, or... Um, better pointing. I think I did pretty good pointing them all day, but still, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not getting, uh, you know, 140 that I would, had hoped. I'm getting roughly, you know, 55 to 60 per panel. Uh, anyway, so that's the scoop. Maybe next time around I'll get a, a bigger panel or add a, a third one to the mix. I guess that's a possibility. Get a Anderson cable. I see that. I think Goal Zero makes one that goes off to four. So technically I could probably uh, bounce it up a little bit and get closer to that 200.
input that this thing allows. So anyway, that's the scoop as of right now. I think I'll uh, come back a little bit later in about an hour, and then we'll call it a day. Distant sun is kind of starting, getting behind those clouds, and I anticipate that's the rest of the day. So wattage has dropped down. It's a, after 6. I started this at 11, so it's been 7 hours. I suppose I could have started at 10 in the morning. Got an extra hour, but that would have been an extra hour of drainage too. So I don't know if it really would have gained me much. But let's just kind of see where we're at. And so 83 uh, percent, 75 watts is what's uh, coming in right now. And the refrigerator's overworking. We're cooking dinner, opening and closing. So yeah, it's uh, gobbling up some power, and we're only bringing in half of that. So anyway, would have needed more solar capability to keep it between 90 and 100. But I'm still pretty impressed. I was able to run my refrigerator all day. And, um, yeah, still have 83% of the battery left after running a, a old 20-year-old refrigerator all day from about 11 until 6.15, I think it is right now. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, maybe I'll come back here in a second and kind of wrap things up so you can see my pretty face. <laughs> uh, but we'll call this a wrap, and then we'll go on to our next set of videos for solar stuff. All right, well, that was fun. All day, Sunday, spending, charging, and positioning, and doing all these things, it went pretty well. Not 100% what I thought it would do. I wanted to keep this between 90 and 100%. As you saw from my last videos, I was down to about 83%. So what does that tell me? Either A, I'm not good at positioning the solar panels well enough. I don't think that's the case because I was pretty anal out there positioning and moving them quite frequently to get as much sun as I can. Unless I needed to at some point lay them flat on their back and pointing straight up, which I don't think is the case. You normally want, I think, that... Uh, uh, angle uh, pointing towards the sun although at certain points it just seems like the sun was really high and straight up so I don't know if that would have made any difference but either way it looks like I need a little bit more juice a little bit more solar capability 200 watt panels if they were working perfect would do 200 watts we know that's not the case but I expect it to do a little bit more than the 50 watts each roughly i seem to have been about 108 a lot of the times it would drip down the 90s then up to 100 and something and i would say about 100 to 110 was that good range between the two panels so what options and i've got a cat down here playing on uh probably gonna knock something over how are you chewing on my don't chew on that rubber thing you silly cat he's gonna probably knock over the light see it's hard to do videos when you have crazy cats anyway Option is either get a couple of more wattage solar panels or add another one in parallel. I think I see that um, Goal Zero makes a Anderson connector to four connection, which means four solar panels. I don't know if this would be able to do it. From what I understand, this unit's pretty good about... Yet, you can do 200 watts, and if you go over that, it's not going to allow it. So, maybe option is to buy that cable, add a third solar panel, maybe another 100 water, which means that if I was doing between 100 and 110, maybe I can get up to about 150. Or maybe get a 200 water, or maybe that 160 watt uh, Echo Flow brand. Something that's going to allow me to get closer to that 200 watts incoming because there were times that either the sun was blocked a little bit by uh, clouds and that dropped down to like 30 watts or so but during the day I would thought and hoped I could have got more than 110 between these two so I need to creep that up it looks like my refrigerator here likes operating at about a 130 range which I had uh, already known so if I can do more than that I should be able to keep this powered up more than 83% someplace between 90 and 100 so I need to get some more wattage I think or learn things a little bit better about positioning but again I was only using the 10 footer cables here no super long cable to do any type of drops and solar charging so I think I just need to add more solar um, and hopefully I can do that in the near future because it would be great if I can keep this 90 to 100 percent but to tell you the truth not that big of a deal breaker this can do a quick charge in two hours from 30 to a uh, 100% off of that Baja or AC outlet. 
That Baja does 700 watts up to 900 surge. So, and this likes taking in 600. So if I want to charge it up for, you know, two hours, not that big of a deal. Figure maybe I can do it around six to seven o'clock when the sun's gone and I'm only getting a trickling of charges here. Let's connect it up to the Baja for a couple hours. <coughs> Excuse my cough. And uh, around 8, 8.30, it will be fully charged. And then from 8 until, what, 10 hours later, what's that? Um, uh, 6, 7, 8. It's going to be about uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, I guess. And 6 o'clock in the morning means I'm about to get up. Refrigerator can coast uh, an hour or two off of what it... Uh, saved up in coolness, right? So I don't have to worry about keeping power 100% of the time. I can drop off a little bit. So maybe get up at six or seven, start the Baja process, and then get that refrigerator reconnected up and keep everything cool enough to not waste and spoil. So I think overall pretty good. I was impressed. I would have loved to have got 90 to 100%, but I was down to 83. I cut off at about 6.15. Uh, the sun did come back for a little while, but again, it would have been nominal charging and the refrigerator was already pulling more from it. So it may be better just to let things coast and connect it up to the Baja, give it a couple hour run, and then be able to re rinse, repeat, recycle through the whole thing. So very fun. Hopefully you found my little comebacks every uh, uh, 45 minutes, half an hour, hour of pointing out what's going on on the display. There were some head scratchers like... Um, when it didn't seem to need as much power, I would have thought this thing would have harped up and been charging a little bit more. But it seemed like the wattage dropped down when it didn't need as much. So I was kind of confused on how that all works. Maybe it just so happens that it was only inputting uh, that amount. But it just seemed weird. I thought uh, maybe when it cut down to 18 watts on the refrigerator need, that this thing would have boosted up to like 140 watts and let's get up as much as we can in. Didn't seem to always work like that, but again, I'm no solar expert. Either way, I kept the battery mostly charged, 83%, not too shabby, I guess. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. What's next? Uh, I'm getting a RV uh, portable 12-volt refrigerator from Set Power. I think I'm going to connect it up to this and see if I can run it in in to infinity and beyond. That'd be kind of cool. Just endless running of a small refrigerator for when I go camping. That'd be kind of cool. So I'll do that. And then I'm sure there'll be some other set power things that I'll be buying. And then other echo flow stuff I'll be buying. Maybe another sold panel. So keep uh, informed. Subscribe to my channel. Check out future videos. If you like retro computers, that's kind of my shtick. I love doing those. Check out some of those, but meanwhile, if you're just into solar, I'll be doing more of this, and I'll be getting some more solar or 12-volt-based goodies connecting to this, and I'll connect phones and computers, and how long can I keep these things running? I'm going to be doing a lot of videos over the summer, hopefully. So anyway, thanks for watching the video, and enjoy the rest of your week. See ya. Peace. Now I need a recharge. <laughs> I'm up and down all day long. That was fun.